up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. What are we going to look at today? Well, we have the Terminator. And no, this is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is the MTX Terminator, which you can't see because the label has worn off. MTA 250, 2x50 watt amp from about 1990 or so. So let's talk about it and see what this baby's all about. All right, so I'll show you around the amp here. As you can see on this side, we have the uh, RCA inputs. We have the max thump, which is very important. Power button, left clip, right clip. And on the other side, very simple. We have this PPI connector and we have power and ground. Very simple, not a whole lot to it. Let me open this baby up though. Let me show you the guts. All right, so here we go. We have taken off the bottom plate to give you a view of the guts. The MTA 250, you can see the model number right here on the circuit board. These amps were made by Precision Power, PPI, back in the um, late 80s and early 90s is when these were available. And these, this particular model was supposed to be very close in design to the ProMOS 50 or the early version called the ProMOS 2050 by PPI. As you can see, really nicely designed circuit board, not a whole lot of wasted space there. So there you go, just a beautifully designed amp. This amp still works great. I have put it on the bench and maybe I'll hook it up real quick for you and we'll see what it sounds like. All right, so we have the MTX MTA 250. We've got it hooked up to this old school JL Audio 10W3D4. Got it wired in two ohms and have it bridged to the outputs here, which according to the back are the gray, um, gray and green black are the two that you want to run. The gray being positive, green back, black being negative. And I've got it hooked up here to my uh, sealed lead acid battery. Now let's try it out and see how it works. Going straight into the iPod, we'll try the woofer cooker test. This is another great example of how YouTube just cannot portray, you know, the real output here and the power. This was pretty amazing from that single JL 10W3 D4. It was really kicking here in the, in the old school stereo labs, just uh, shaking the walls and getting a lot of flex out of this old uh, 10W3. Of course, I've got some leak coming out of the top too because I don't have it sealed up. It's just a temporary box, but anyway. The MTX MTA 250 is pretty impressive um, to be a early 90s slash late 80s cheater amplifier rated at 2 times 50 RMS at 4 ohms and stable down to 1 ohm which it would do 400 watts, about 400 watts or so. So we'll try it in the future on the test bench, feed it some test tones and see what it really does. Maybe compare it against the HCCA 250 and the PPI Pro Moss 2050. Sounds like a good challenge, Big D. All right, guys, appreciate y'all watching.
This has been Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. You guys make sure you come visit the website, OldSchoolStereo.com. And also check me out on Twitter. Follow me at Old School Stereo. We can keep uh, updated with all the latest information out of the Old School Stereo Labs. Once again, Big D Wiz signing off. I'm out of here.